So I'm very excited about opening what's in here. Uh, it's a boot that I have been wanting for a very, very long time. Been trying to track it down. I asked Red Wing about it. They said they could get it for me and then had no luck. They told me they couldn't get it. I found it. It's here in my hands. Hopefully, I, think I, am, I hope it's what I, what it looked like on the photos and all that stuff. Uh, it's, they're brand new, they're not used. Found them and I've wanted them for so long. I can't tell you I've wanted them for so long. Uh, today I'm wearing the 9161. I really like these. Um, if you pick them up uh, from Nordstrom, I'm sure, uh, I hope you like them as much as I do. I, I love them. The, the nitrile cork sole, leather line, the leather's really soft uh, on the outside. Uh, they're just great, great boots. Okay, so let's get to this unboxing or unwrapping. These came from Europe. I found them there. Oh, I so hope they are what I think they are, and I'm so excited about these. All right. Okay. In this box, so you can tell it's a different shape than the other boxes, is the 2943. Oh, yes! 2943 Red Wing Harvester! <laughs> I have the harvester! Oh, these are so cool, finally! And they smell good because they're brand spanking new. Oh, yes! Oh, brass hardware. Oh. So um, let's look at the other one, let's see. What do we have here? We have a return policy. Yeah, right, return policy. Get out of here, nothing's being returned. Uh, what is this? Return instructions, get out of here. Nobody's returning anything. Oh wow, what did they give me? They gave me some uh, Doc Martin neutral polish. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna have to read this. I actually had um, Doc Martin polish when I was in, I think high school. I remember high school or college, I, I used the Doc Martin polish. That's a nice touch. Thank you guys for sending that. That's really cool. I'm going to have to open that and smell that and check the other one out. <laughs> the harvester's here! Ah, the harvester's arrived. I've wanted you for so long. All right, well, let's lace up the harvester and let's take a closer look. Yes! Okay, here's the Red Wing Harvester 2943. The leather is amber harness, which is right now, it's super soft and supple. You kind of can feel a little bit of the oils on it. This is the same leather as the 8111 Iron Ranger. Uh, like a triple stitch in the amber harness, harvester! Yeah, baby. So, um, unfortunately, it's on the Vibram 430 Mini Lug. So this is definitely going out for a resole. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear them um, first and maybe break them in slightly, or just send them out uh, immediately for a resole. I kind of want to wear them because I've been wanting these boots for a very long time. And um, so I'm like, do I send them out tomorrow? Or do I just wait, like, I don't know, wear them for three weeks and then send them out? Um, I'm still debating, but I definitely, the resale for sure is happening. Uh, there, there was no doubts when I bought them that they were gonna get a resale. Um, what else? Uh, Goodyear Welt, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six eyelets, and then four speed hooks. And I like that it's in um, brass. I think that's pretty cool. It's a, the Iron Ranger uh, hardware, the 8111 hardware is in um, chrome, and I like that these are in brass. That's a nice touch. Uh, these have uh, black um, piping around the uh, 
top of the boot. Um, external, you have the heel counter, like on the um, 877s. These are so cool. I just, I love these. I cannot wait. I have one of these so bad. And they are just, just a cool looking, cool looking boot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, this is the, I took my 9161 off of my, off of my foot, just to show you, uh, let's see if I, well, let's see, I need to put them, I put them in the, in my hand the same, just so you can see the difference in the height, how, much, how many more eyelets you see. So uh, they are both in the same hand level, well, in quotes, level. Um, so you're actually not getting that much more leather at the, uh, well, let's see, hold on, let me just lift that up and see. Oh yeah, that's even. You're not getting that much more leather, which is interesting, but it's amazing how how different those, what is that, like two, it's supposed to be two inches or so? Hold on, let's measure that, I have a tape measure. Let's get out the tape measure. So this is supposed to be a six inch boot. Well, let's see how they, how they do it. Do they do heel? If they do heel, it's more than six inch. So if you go from this part, from inside the welt to here, I wonder how they do that. I should, I should ask Red Wing how they do that. Do they measure from here? Because of here, it measures under six, if I'm looking correctly. And then from here, inside this heel, it measures, oh, hold on a second. From here, it measures over six. From here, it measures over six. So I'm wondering how they do that. Do they just do it from this part here? Because that would be like five and change. Well, more than change. Okay, so let's look at this. Here we go. Eight. Oops, sorry, eight. We go here. Seven and change. And then from here, seven and change. It's amazing, like, just looking at here, it's only, honestly, so this is on the counter. And this, uh, the counter is even. We'll measure from there to there. Who does that? Oh, hold on, let's see. Yeah, that's just under two inches, really. From there to there. But it looks a, totally different. I, there's, you know, of course, subtle things here and there. But I think this is probably the closest uh, to, because th this is what, what they call it, an early blacksmith. Maybe, I think that's what Red Wing calls it, early blacksmith. And basically this is a blacksmith, a, a um, eight inch version of a blacksmith with you know same speed hooks as the blacksmiths that are currently out, Vibram lug sole. So if you cut this here, this would be, was it three? It would be in, maybe here, it would be an amber harness blacksmith basically, if you did like this with a different heel counter. But uh, I'm so excited about this. This I can't tell you how much I wanted this boot. I absolutely cannot wait to break this in. I want the black one as well. Actually, I want two pairs of the brown and one pair of the black. So, because um, I, I have a couple ideas for a sole, for, for a resole with the brown and then for the black, just a, a, a one type of resole but they're all definitely getting resold. I'm not keeping this, no way. Um, that's definitely not happening. But, oh gosh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Uh, let's show the inside of the other boot, or, so let's show the inside of the boot. This has a uh, leather insole. If you can see, leather insole quite dark. Where's my light? Uh, the reverse of the Hawthorne here. These boots were made... What? Wow, these boots were made January uh, 28, 2018. So they're fairly new. Cool. 
so much about that. But yeah, these um, crisp, crisp, crisp leather. It smells, it smells great too. That new leather smell. Can't wait to put these on. One more thing, I forgot. The uh, Doc Martin neutral polish that came with the boots. I thought that was very nice, very nice touch. It's different than the polish that I had when I, um, when I think it was in, I don't know if it was in high school or college. Um, the one I had was more of like a mink oil because it was a, a yellowish, it looked kind of like yellow gel that you'd put in your hair. This one is more of like a cream kind of color. Uh, if you look, it's kind of like more like lotion. And it smells like, it smells good. It smells like a shoe polish that had a little touch of scent. And basically what they say, a blend of fine waxes, solvent, and dyes to nourish and protect all smooth leathers. Remove dirt, apply polish evenly, brush, and hold on, let me take off this sticker. Okay, uh, apply polish evenly with a brush for high shine, buff briskly with a soft brush or cloth. Cool. So thank you, that's a nice touch. I will. I'll probably use this. Why not? I'll try it on some of my boots. Cool. Thanks for that. But, all right. All right, let's do the on feet. The Harvester is based on one of Red Wing's most successful products in the 1930s. Wood Harvesters needed sturdy work boots with grip for climbing and durable leathers for protection against scrapes, bumps, and accidents. So that's why the Harvester today was created or copied or recreated, however you want to state it. So I wore them for the morning walk with the pup. And um, I tell you, the Harvesters out of the box are very comfortable. There's, I can tell that there's going to be minimal break in. The one thing that I will say is that where the eyelets come down, um, and meet the top of the foot. It's a little bit closer than, say, uh, the blacksmith, just slightly. You, I can feel that when I walk um, on my right foot, that there's a little bit of, um, not rubbing, but it's just like noticeable that the eyelids are closer. And I'm wearing them with um, Japanese salvage denim just to show these off. They look so good. I'm very excited about them. And it's unfortunate that they're only available in Europe. I, I don't understand that. It's like it's it's frustrating because I think these would sell really well in the states, and people can't get them. Uh, and I can just I don't know. I I hope that um, if you do like these, you can find a pair. I know that they do have them on Amazon. Um, they're not cheap though. They are um, are close to four hundred bucks. Um, but in my opinion, well worth it if you're looking for an eight inch boot to wear. Um, they're just out of the box comfort, cool style, and yeah. Okay, so that is the Red Wing 2943 Harvester in amber harness leather. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, be a boot. See you guys next time. <laughs>